Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my single cell RNA sequencing analysis video tutorials. First, I would like to thank all of you for watching my channels and also leave very positive comments in my channel. Some of you ask me to help your data analysis, so today I'm going to make a fans required video because one of you asked me to help analyze the GSM 4037985 dataset. So I will be very happy to help you analyze the dataset. First, we can go to NCBI website and search the dataset GSM 4037985. You will find this dataset. You can see it is a human peripheral RPE choroid tissue sample. Here is the protocol for how they prepared the sample and also how they analyzed the data set. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the data set. So they provided the analyzed data set as a TSV file. If you click the HTTP button, you will download the data set. So you can see I downloaded it in my computer. If we have a look at the download file in my computer, you can see we downloaded this data set. So at the moment, it is a compressed data file, because it is just one data file, we can just use the 7-zip function in the computer to extract the data here. So we have the TSV file, we can go to R and note the data in. Because the data was separated by an empty space in the TSV file, we can use the read Dename function, or you can also use the read table function to read the data in. We need to separate the data by the empty space. So let's load the data into R and name it as GSM 4037985. Okay, you can see we load the data in. Let's click the data and have a look the data file. Okay, you can see at the moment the row names were named as the numbers because this is analyzed the data set. So in the first column X is the original number and the second column barcode are the cell barcode. In the, the third column are the final canasta labels and also we have a column as library. Then after that are all the gene names. So inside here are the counts for the gene in each cell during the sequencing data analysis. According to the description of this data set, here are the normalized data. Because we are going to analyze this data set using SURAT, so we don't need the fellow canaster label and the libraries and also we need to get rid of the X column. So we can use the null function in the R to delete the X column, also delete the fellow canaster label column and the library column. Now let's have a look at the data set again. You can see now we only have the barcode column and the gene columns and also the normalized matrix data for the gene expression in each cell. So at the moment you can see the first column is the barcodes. So we can use the column to row names function to set the barcode as the column names. Let's do this and have a look at the data set again. Now you can see the row names are the barcodes and the columns are G names. For SURAT, uh, 
the data analysis, the correct format will be the column names are the buckles and the row names are the gene names. So we can use the transpose function to switch the column names to row names and the row names to column names. Now you can see the row names are the G names and the column names are the buckles. So we have a correct format for the data set. At the moment it is a large matrix data set in order to make a throughout object because I installed a throughout V5 function. So we can use the as sparse function to change the large matrix data to large DGC matrix data. So you can see now we have a large DGC matrix data. So the large DGC matrix data is the data format when we use the 10 times read function to read the data set into R. So now we have a correct data set. We can use it to create a threat object. So the count will be the GSM 4037985 large DGC matrix data. We can name the, the project name as GSM 4037985. We keep genes that uh, express the at least in three cells and the and the cells that uh, have at least 200 gene expression. So we can create a threat object now. You can see here it changed to a large threat object. We can have a look at the threat object. Now we have the barcode, the row names, we have the original ident at the GSM 4037985, we have the N count RNA and the N features RNA. For standard threat analysis, we need to calculate the percentage of mitochondria DNA, and we can use the well input node to have a look at the three features N features RNA, N count RNA and the percentage mitochondria DNA. There are three features that we can use the for quantity control. Let's zoom in. You can see we have the varying plot for N features and count. Because this is the analyzed data set, they don't have the mitochondria DNA sequence information in this data set. And also we don't need to do any quantity control because they analyzed this data set already. Okay, so let's go to another step because we don't need to subset the cells. Because we only have one data set here, we don't need to perform data integration as well. So we just need to run a standard working flow analysis to cluster the cells. As I mentioned, the workers provided the uh, uh, analyzed the data set. They did the data normalization already, but uh, for demonstration, we can still go through all the steps for the standard workflow analysis. First, we normalize the data. Then next, we can find the variable features after that, we scale the data and then run PCA. So we can use the elbow plot to find the best PCA number for the rest analysis. Let's run elbow plot. We can zoom in. You can see if we use PC20, we will be good enough to include all the information. So let's use the PC20 to find the neighbors. Then we can use the low resolution 0.1 to find the cell clusters. You can see with the resolution 0.1, we found the six clusters here. 
because this is just a, a demonstration. I don't know the best resolution to find the all the cluster you want to identify. So you can change the resolution to increase or decrease the cell clusters. So next we can run UMAP. Now we are ready to see the cell clusters. We can zoom in, you can see we identify the six cell clusters here. So now you can save the data set in your computer. So in this video, I show you how to download the data and also load the TSV data into R and perform the standard workflow analysis. So now you have uh, analyzed the threat object, you can do more analysis. For example, annotate your cell clusters using cell type specific mark genes and identify differentially expressed genes. So I hope this video could help your data analysis. So please continue to leave comments in my channel and ask any questions you have. I will try my best to help you. Thank you and good luck for your data analysis.